Welcome back to our 12 days of Christmas. Matt and Emma here. And today we are trying the festive menus from some of our favourite fast food restaurants. This video will be the first time either of us are trying any festive food item. Yeah this year so we are at our first stop of the day and we are just outside a mcdonald's drive through obviously this wouldn't be a festive menu video if we didn't come to mcdonald's yeah we're gonna crack on and we're gonna get a few items from mcdonald's festive menu yeah should we just go through let's do it let's do it i guess we'll see you guys when we've got the stuff or do they want to come with us yeah come with us if you want you come with us oh i'm hungry now are you yeah i'm hungry Double Big Mac. Do you need four patties and a burger though? Hello, um, can we get one um, double Big Mac please? Meal by itself? Just by itself please. Yeah. One portion of the cheese melt dippers. Yeah. One of the jerk chicken sandwich. Meal by itself? Um, just by itself please. Yeah. Uh, and then one celebrations McFlurry. Anything else? Uh, can we get one large diet coke please? Anything else? That's it, thanks. Thanks, Linda. Cheers. Thank you. I didn't realise the Diet Coke was on the festive menu, Matthew. That is for my <laughs> personal use. Oh, see, they've got reindeer ears. I told Matt we should wear Cute. something Christmassy, and he was like, no. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Thank Card, you. Please. We should ask them where they got their Rudolph headband from. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. I thought you were actually going to ask them. <laughs> so I please don't. That. We need to. Oh, no, they just dropped a Happy Meal. <gasps> no. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, that's not funny. You monster. Thank you. Thanks. So we have our McDonald's. Have you noticed the, the new lids on yeah, McDonald's? Yeah, they've changed, right? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, so we have the jerk chicken sandwich. And this barely fits in the box. Holy smokes. Four patties in a burger. This is the double Big Mac. And then the cheesy dippers. Yeah. Yummy. That is pretty much the entirety of McDonald's. Oh, wait. We forgot about this. Oh, how could we, little fella down here? The Celebrations McFlurry. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the double Big Mac. It's kind of like just ridiculously big. What have you got then? Oh my God. Oh, there's bacon in this. There's gonna be lettuce there's everywhere. Lettuce everywhere. That is the jerk chicken. Oh, I like this bun. I yeah, must say. I like that bun, it's nice. It's like more of a sort of chia batter style. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah, let's do this. Cheers. Cheers. It is just a chicken selection there. Yeah. I think the flavouring of the for the jerk chicken is in the sauce because the chicken itself tastes just like McDonald's chicken selects. So with the normal Big Mac, it's patty. No, it's bun, patty, bun, patty bun. Is it? it sounds like a song. Yeah. Here, all they've done is added two patties. So it's like bun, two patties, bun, two patties, bun. And actually, it means that the flavour of the Big Mac is different because it's more meaty than it is like the Big Mac sauce. Right, well I guess that's to be expected, right? Mm. It's literally no different, there's just more no. in it. Surely if you ordered a regular Big Mac, you could just make that by asking for two you extra patties. You could, yeah. Is it good though? You've not actually said. No, it's nice. It's, oh. it, it, it's a Big Mac. I do like a good Big Mac, mm. but this is a big Big Mac. Oh. You're going to like that, by the way. Am I? You're going to like that. Is it spicy jerk? No, I I don't think it's too spicy, but maybe because, oh, there's more sauce in the middle. So if you get a bite of that, maybe you'll find it spicy. How's that then? Mmm. Good? That is well good. This mm -hmm. may be my first bite of a Big Mac ever. And I've really? started with a giant one. No, we've never had one in a video. And no. I've not had one after the video. If you like a Big Mac, then you'll like that, I guess. I think for me, it's too much meat. Yeah, it is, is that really obvious to say? It's a lot of meat. It is a lot of meat for for your first bite of a Big Mac to have four patties. Yeah, it's quite a lot. Oh, I love a gherkin. There. This jerk chicken burger is really nice. I love the chicken selects and everything from McDonald's because they're crispy and so the chicken's good. good. The sauce is lovely. Cheese, bacon. That's a winning burger. Shut back. Mm. Okay, so these are the cheese bites. I'm not actually sure what cheese these are. Mm. Mm. Do we have any idea? Sauce is good, huh? I'm getting that sauce now. Yeah, it's decent. Mm. It's got a bit of a kick to it. That's lovely. Yeah, it has. This is going down a treat. 
Okay, so these are the cheese dippers. Now these are camembert. Mm. Camembert cheese. I like that. Did they give any sauce with these at all? Any sauces in the bag? No, there no. should be one though. Okay. Well, never mind. Let's try them as they are. These are quite small, but do you reckon you get a little cheese pull? Oh, yeah. Ooh. You like camembert, don't I you? I do. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. I like those. That's proper cheesy. Do you know, I prefer camembert to brie, though. Yeah. Because I'm not the biggest fan of soft cheese, but that goes down a lot nicer than brie for me personally. It's got a four four breadcrumb coat on it. Mm, really good crunch. Side note, the veggie dippers from McDonald's, mm. are they are they part of the festive range? No. No. But they're quite new. They're also vegan. I had those the other day and those are like them, right? they're yeah. so good. They are a return buy. I would 100% get those again. Yeah, good. So now I'd either be a veggie dipper or fill a fish girl or a Big Mac. You know what? Tasty. It's a Big Mac at the end of the day. If you like a Big Mac, double it. Last bite. That's a big one. Okay, so that's our main meals done for the festive menu at McDonald's. There is one dessert option, and that is the Celebrations McFlurry. Mm. So this is going to be our lunch dessert, but don't you worry. There is a dinner dessert as well. There's a, there's a dessert dessert. Oh me oh my. So here we've got a soft dairy ice cream, obviously, swirled with Malteser clusters, galaxy mm. chocolate drops, caramel pieces, Mars nuggets, and Twiz and, tw <laughs> Twiz. and Twix biscuits, Ooh. topped with a milk chocolate sauce. I quite like a box of celebrations. Who doesn't around Christmas? Mmm, mmm. Good. Mm. What sauce did you say it was? Like a galaxy caramel one or? Chocolate. Mmm. Oh, that looks good. That's real tasty. Mmm. Because there's like crunchy pieces in there, there's caramel in there. So many different like textures. Like fudgy, yeah, it's They're all a, in a very bite. different textures, isn't it? I like that. It's alright, isn't it? It's nice. Yeah, but see, my fears, my fears are confirmed. The toppings are just on top, it's all, aren't they? All at the top. I find that there's not enough if you get right in there. I remember when McFlurry's first came out, they used to mix them properly. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. And you'd get extra sauce if you wanted yeah. to. Obviously, you can't now. So good. Do you know what? That's nice. I think it could probably use a bit more sauce, like throughout. Yeah. But the different textures are mm. nice. The actual celebration pieces are really nice. Mm. Some are like crunchy. Then you get a chewy one. Yeah, yeah. And then you get a fudgy one. Yeah. My senses are like, whoa. I'm glad we tried this. Mm. I remember when they first announced this, I sent this to Emma, probably about a minute after they announced it. <laughs> We've been waiting like, oh a while God. to try these yeah, things. We have, yeah, a long time. Right, so that's McDonald's done, guys. That is the pretty much the entire festive menu mm. at McDonald's. Favourite thing? Ooh, um, a Thai. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> between the jerk chicken sandwich and the McFlurry. Oh, it's an eight. Okay. I love McDonald's. Yeah. It, it always delivers. I'd say like seven and a half. Yeah, good. But yeah, the, the jerk chicken sandwich was pretty good. Yeah. I, would, I would really recommend that. Okay, guys, so we're done at McDonald's um, and we will see you very, very shortly for our next stop, which is going to be... KFC. <laughs> I pointed at you to do I it. I pointed at you so we didn't do it in unison. Right, we're going to go to KFC. We're going to try a very special kind of burger from there. So we will yeah. see you there in just a moment's time. So you've joined us in the queue <clears throat> for our KFC. Everywhere you look, all the posters, everything's just gravy. Yeah. So we are going to be getting the gravy burger box meal. Fillet burger with a hash brown, the little den you pour gravy into. Hash browns. Fries, one fillet, and then a special gravy mayonnaise. Gravy nays. Gravy nays. I'm on board with the hash brown because I've not had anything hash brown included mm. in oh, KFC good. before. It's good, it's good. <laughs> right, we're up. Gravy burger box meal. Christmas special. Who would have thought about a gravy burger? I mean, it makes so much sense for KFC to do that, but it does. still. You get the v and crush them. Guys, we've just seen they also have a 
Vionetta Crashum. I love Vionetta. We have to. I love it. I hope it's just blended Vionetta. Probably is. What does it say what flavour? Is it the original one? No, it just says Christmas special Vionetta. I like the mint Vionetta. Yeah. Uh, can I get one gravy burger box meal, please? One drink with that. Pepsi Max, please. Anything else? Uh, can we get one of the Vionetta Crushums? Yep. That's all, thanks. Thank you, Alexander. Cheers, Thank you. mate. What a good day. If this doesn't get you into the spirit, I don't know what will. Thank you, sir. Just Cheers, mate. Thank Merry you. Christmas. <laughs> Success. Right, we're just going to park up. So, we have our KFC. In this, we have. Oh. Oh. The burger. <gasps> the hash brown looks so good. Yeah, so we've got a, just a standard fillet burger, and you Ooh. can see there's a hash brown in there with a little dent, and that's for gravy to be poured into. The gravy with the perfect. Yeah, they changed pouring. it for, for pouring. Gravenaise. Gravenaise. So let's do the honour of pouring this gravy. Yeah. I'm going to let you do it because oh, you're no. the gravy queen. Question is how much of this is going to be in focus? How much of this is going to get on the car? This is going to be messy. Oh, that's some thick gravy. Is it meant to go all over? Yeah, just, just a, a little dip? bit. That looks good. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, actually, go on a bit more. <laughs> Look at that. That's holding together really well, yeah. considering there's half a small tub of gravy in that. There's some sauce in there as yeah, well. Yeah, that what might is be gravy Oh, right, I see. Should we just try this burger then while it's still fresh yeah, and hot? Yeah, do it. Okay. Oh, wow. That look like a good bite. Oh my, that is so good. That is messy. Honestly, that is an amazing flavour. It tastes like a roast dinner in a burger. The gravy is just awesome. Did you get a bite of the hash brown as well? I got everything. It's so good. Straight away, it's just like boom. Mm -hmm. Gravy. Gravy nays is strong. I know, that is such a good burger. That is an indulgent burger, if I'd ever mm, seen one. That is so good, though. One thing, I can't taste the hash brown. No, you can't. Because there's just so, so much, much gravy. sauce and gravy yeah. going on. There is so much gravy that you wouldn't even know there's a hash brown in no. there, apart from the texture. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shall we try the yeah. chips and the gravy nays? Although, that burger is full of this sauce. Ready? Yep. Cheers. Cheers. That is so weird. That is a strange sauce. That is essentially just a, a like a very, I don't even know, like a gravy, mustardy, Perinose. mayonnaise, pa yeah, Perinose vibe. Oh, that's a good point actually, it's quite mustardy. Mm, yeah. It does taste mustardy. I say it, and I say it again, this is why I love doing these videos, because yeah. I would never, ever pick that burger on our normal order going around not a chance but these videos encourage us to try so many new things and i don't shy away from new things much like no. i'm open to it but i think i am a bit of a creature of habit when yeah. it comes to ordering yeah can i have a look at the pot of gravy yep oh see there's still loads of gravy in there that lid's not 100 percent on but... because i i personally wouldn't have poured the whole thing on that burger it'd get way too messy no it doesn't need it you don't need that much the other good thing about this box meal is that you get some gravy and you also get a mini fillet. And I love these mini fillets. Dunk it straight in. Perfect combo. Mmm. Wow. The gravy is just so good. It's so, so good. Look how beige that burger is. Oh, though. I love it. It's just. Do you want the top up? Go on then. Wow, that is kind of groundbreaking. A little dip. Yes, yeah, sir. I love you. I can't work out what's nicer, this or the double down. They're two completely different flavours, mm -hmm. like a barbecue to like a rich gravy, but I love them both. Are they still doing the double down? Well, no. They made way through the gravy nays. Oh, go on, let me have a bit of that hash brown by itself. I was going to say, I can taste the hash brown now. Can you? Yeah. Mmm. Oh. That was a good hash brown. They should sell them by themselves like McDonald's do. Mm. Oh my goodness. That was a bit of you though, innit? Love you it. would order that straight off the bat. I'm thinking about going around again. If you like the KFC gravy, you're going to love it. If you don't like the KFC gravy, 
probably get Maybe something else. Pass. But apart from the gravy items on the menu, that's their main Christmas offering. Yeah. This is the only other Christmas thing on the menu, and it's a Bionetta Crush'em. I don't know if it's because it's just a normal, like, clear packaging. Mm. It's a little bit underwhelming, it's Very underwhelming. presentation, but yeah. it's not style over substance in this car. We go for taste. Is it a so... milkshake? Yeah, Crushems are, aren't they? I don't know if I've ever had a Crushem. Are Crushems milkshakes or are they? I... Oh yeah, I think they are. They're like, ice, like thick, thick ice cream milkshakes. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a straw, not a spoon, so I assume it's meant yeah. to be a milkshake. Ready? That's a large thick straw. straw. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Did you get some? Okay. See, there's got chocolate bits throughout. Do you know what I think they should have done? Oh, go on, I'll let you try it first and then I'll have my two cents. Very milky. It is quite milky. I think they missed the mark there. They should have done the mint flavour. Mm. And that's a bit kind of Christmassy, isn't it? Like quite a few places come out with mint options around this time or like after eight. It's kind of like like creamy milk with chocolate pieces. Yeah, yeah. It's not even vanilla flavour. Is it vanilla flavour? No. It's all right. I think... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. Take that lid off. Matt cannot stand that noise. The good thing about it is there's tons of chocolate pieces yeah. in here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. They've not shied from there. Maybe it would have been better in ice cream form, mm. like a McFlurry. I would personally say that's only okay. Yeah. Not a return buy for me. No, I, I wouldn't agree. go back and get that, but I would go back and get a McFlurry. I think I'd rate that burger the best burger of the day so far. Oh, by far. So I by think that was far. better than the Big Mac. Back. Big bag. <laughs> Big Mac, definitely. And yeah. I think that was also better than the jerk chicken. That KFC burger is delicious. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's us done with the KFC. We've done McDonald's and KFC so far, the festive items. Next stop is Burger King. Not one that we go to often. I don't think we've had Burger King in a video yet, actually. Nope. They have the five gold rings burger. Yeah. So you guessed it, five onion rings in the burger. And that's it. We're going to head over there now. We're going to try and get our hands on one. Uh, and then we'll check in with you guys once we have the five gold rings. Scratch that. We couldn't get Burger mm. King. Basically, the lowdown is the one Burger King festive burger is only available on Deliveroo. In our area. I don't know if it's reason. different for other know. people. So we looked on Deliveroo to order this burger. And because it was a small order, the delivery fee and the service fee, it was going to cost us about... 13 pounds or something for one burger for one burger so we thought no do you know what we'll just go and we'll go get it went to our local burger king asked for the five gold ring burger at the counter and they said no it's not available you have to order it on deliveroo so i could stand there and order it from deliveroo from the same burger king but they can't serve it to you in person i'm sure there's a reason for it but we were like oh is there any possibility to just get it because we're here and we know it's available here they said no only if you order it for delivery <laughs> So we didn't get Burger King in the end, but there you go. That's the way the cookie crumbles. What we did want to do as well, and we sort of thought, oh, we're not sure about this, whether we've got time, is we wanted to check out the new festive items from Subway. So we've done that instead for you guys. Oh, yeah, 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 there goes my phone. There's the phone. So there is a brand new sub from Subway called the... Pigs in Blankets. Pigs in Blankets. And it's a basically a Pigs in Blankets Subway. They've also got two new Christmas cookies as well. Which um, we didn't know about, to be fair. No. Across from the food court where Burger King is, is Subway. So we thought, oh, we'll just go get this new Pigs and Blanket sub. And then notice that they actually have two festive cookies. Nice. So by my calculations, that means that we're having a dessert with every sitting Yeah, today. that's true. So we've got our Subway. I'm not going to lie. When he was putting it together, it didn't look great. Basically, when we decided to do today... We had subbed in Burger King instead of Subway. Yeah. Subbed in Subway? Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> because we thought actually the burger looks a bit more interesting and indulgent than the Subway. But it wasn't meant to be and we have the Subway today. At the moment you can just see Peppers, but <laughs> he's in there somewhere. I'm not I'm not overly thrilled. No. Let's put it that way. This video is not just about us trying foods that we wanted to try. It's about trying festive menus. Yeah. And this is the Subway's main offering. And Subway are a huge fast food outlet across the UK. So it's worth a try. It's worth a try. And we've got cookies, so you can't really yeah. argue. I'm going to let you to me? Yeah, I honest. saw you. Okay. You might be pleasantly surprised. You don't know. Here we go. Hmm. Good. That's quite nice. Yeah? Yeah. Well, there you go. You don't know if you don't try. No. It's actually a really good tasting sausage. Yeah? Yeah. You want to go there. Right, okay. Mm. 
Good bite. Proud of you there. Hmm. I quite like it. When I was at school, they used to do sausage sandwiches, and the sausages were never freshly cooked. Mm. <laughs> but they tasted quite nice, and they taste very similar to this. We did ask as well, like, oh, what sauce would you suggest? He just stared at us and went, um, do you like burger sauce? And I mean, I don't eat a lot of pigs in blankets, but I'm pretty sure... <laughs> I wouldn't know if that would be the first choice, so um, we just went for ketchup. Because unlike most of the items that we've tried today, this is fully customizable Mm. in the sense that Mm. the pig in the blanket is the one thing that stays the same. The rest of it, you can choose whatever you want. Mm. Yeah, so I suppose in that sense, you can make it whatever flavour you wanted in a way. True. It was like a very low-key, not fancy, day-to-day, fast food, festive option. Now, to make it all worthwhile, hopefully... We have two cookies here. One chocolate orange. Yeah, which sounds good. I feel like 2020 is the year of the chocolate it orange. It is, it's the year of the orange. If you don't mind holding that. Thank you, that. happily. A mince pie cookie. We've mm. not had a mince pie cookie before. Never heard of them. Oh, that smells strong of mince pie. It smells strong of orange. Does it? Yeah. Should we try so, the same one each or? Go on, yeah, let's try the chocolate orange one first, okay. shall we? It smells really Ooh, nice. Okay, I Cheers. do like Subway cookies. I love them. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Well, it's good. See, that's really tasty. Mm. Mm. I think that's mm. better than their normal chocolate one. Yeah, it's really nice citrus flavour. That's really good. Mm. Like that. Okay. Mince pie. Mince pie cookie. Very fascinated by this. It really smells. It smells like a mince pie, but also kind of like pumpkin spice. Yeah, I think this is based on their oatmeal oat and raisin cookie. Yeah. I love their oat and raisin cookie. Yeah, normally. you love an oat and really raisin like cookie it, yeah. in general. Oh, that is so weird. That tastes quite like a pumpkin spice one to me. There's obviously lots of spices in there. For me, that tastes like a mince pie, but nicer. That's all right. That's really nice. I like that much more than I thought I was going to. Me too. I was like, "Mm, that's a weird combo, but that's actually really good. So overall, I'm going to say the pigs in blankets sub. I'm going to give it a five. Okay. Because it's okay, but it's it's just not my thing. I'd probably join you at a five, to be fair. Chocolate orange cookie. Mm Mm-hmm. An eight. I'm going to give eight and a half. That's hot. That's a high marks. Good. And then actually the mince pie one is going to be an eight too. Yeah, I think I'll join you at eight for eights. that one. Hmm. We have reached our final festive menu item. We are going to go get it now. Actually, there's two. We've got a main and a dessert, obviously. We are going to pick up the Christmas pizza from Pizza Hut. Of course. A whole Christmas pizza. I can't wait to see it and I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like and also let you know what it tastes like. We've also got the brand new double chocolate cookie dough. You know it. So we've ordered that and we're going to go and pick that up now. So in a YouTube second, hopefully we're going to be sat right here with those things in our hands smelling amazing. See you in just a sec. Pizza Hut is in the building slash car. Nothing says Christmas like pizza. Nothing says Christmas like pizza. Nice little note. Okay, so for our main, we have got the Christmas pizza. You can't get much more Christmassy than that. It's literally called the Christmas pizza. And what it includes is rotisserie chicken paired with crispy bacon and sage and onion stuffing, all on top of a red wine gravy base. Red wine gravy? Red wine gravy. Wow. Okay. (laughs) That is a pizza they are not messing around with that it gets dark in the uk by the way here like half three or four so if the light just randomly goes we're so sorry Uh, because the light's going we're going to try the pizza real quick let you know what you think and then we're going to move on to dessert yeah and probably finish this pizza off later yeah as soon as the lighting goes you can't see the pizza or the dessert properly that would be a real shame and no one wants that do they okay you ready let's do it Cheers. cheers Whoa. What? That 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 sauce or the base is, is is really weird, right? That's really strong. The sauce, the red wine sauce, comes through so strong in that. It's still quite cheesy as well. It like, is. Cheese and then a roast dinner is a bit different, isn't it? It is different. It, it, it takes a second to actually get used to it because it's like, that, they are flavours that you don't associate with a pizza. Hmm. It's good pizza and it tastes nice. It's just different, isn't it? It's very different. It's literally roast dinner on a pizza. Yeah. You know, that sauce is growing on me. It's a bit like tangy. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. So it's kind of like 
yeah imagine gravy with like a bit of almost sweet sweet and like cherry sauce or yeah. something yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. cranberry red winey gravy yeah yeah it's nice i like it mm. i do like it again definitely a pizza for a mm. meat lover bacon stuffing and chicken on it so yeah. it's a lot my second slice was much nicer than my first because i knew what to expect yeah it's like whoa it does it kind of like oh. you know sometimes like when pizza hut or any pizza chain brings out a new pizza essentially the base and the cheese yeah. and the tomato is always the same unless it's like barbecue mm. and it's the toppings that make the difference so when you bite into it it's sort of like more subtle that change as soon as you bite into this one mm. you just taste that red wine sauce so it's a bit like yeah, 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 yeah. you don't taste anything else the first bite but i like that they've been brave mm. they've been bold and brave and they have put a christmas dinner on a pizza mm -hmm. we are going to have the rest of that for dinner but before the light completely goes let us show you our dessert and also while this is still hot because this needs to be hot yes. holy smokes this is the triple chocolate cookie dough cookie dough yeah <laughs> and of course comes with their vanilla ice cream is it hot still oh yes yeah, roasting is it? <laughs> Holy smokes, it is. <laughs> looks like where you see it there, it looks hard. Yeah. It's not, it's gooey. Maybe you can show you. Yeah, it's soft. That's a, good, that's a good demonstration. Now, we are massive fans of Pizza Hut cookie dough, yeah. but we've not tried this triple chocolate one yet. Nah. So, very excited. We do have some utensils. Oh, look Would at you like this. a spoon or fork? I'll go for a fork. Cheers. Oh, my. Mm hmm. Oh my goodness. That is a thing of beauty. It's so warm. It's soft and gooey and so chocolatey. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Oh, let's get some ice cream on that bad boy. Pizza Hut ice cream is always like super soft as well. It's perfect accompany a cookie dough or brownie type thing. Pizza Hut and Domino's do dessert well, mm. don't they? Mm -mm. In the last video we did of this, we tried the orange... Mm. Uh, what was it? We tried the chocolate orange cookies from Domino's. Yeah that were new at the time, and they were so good. That was our dessert last time. See, I think I prefer this though. Mm, me too. I think I prefer this as a, as a cookie because the, it's like a cookie slab and it stays mm, warm. And it just goes perfectly with ice cream. Yeah. Mm. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is a money bite right there. That is it. Cha-ching. Happy? Mm. <laughs> okay, so that is Pizza Hut done. The pizza are pretty amazing. Like, really, honestly, such a unique flavour. Something I've never tried before. And if you've not tried any cookie dough from Pizza Hut, then what are you doing? What are you doing? They are delicious. And especially so that good. new double chocolate one, the so Christmas good. double chocolate. So good. Right, guys, we are done with our Pizza Hut festive items and that is it for today's video we will be back with a brand new video tomorrow as part of our 12 days of christmas so we really hope that you can join us then but until then guys have a lovely day evening and we will see you then